Welcome to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with Rebecca Hall Greider. In our program each week, we provide the tools, ideas, and encouragement to help you move ahead on your journey, becoming a more powerful and impactful woman in your own life. Now here's your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. Welcome, everyone. I hope you're having an amazing day. We're so excited to be connecting in with you the first week of December, and I can feel that momentum building as we're coming into the holiday season, getting ready for the new year. This is a beautiful, wonderful, exciting time of year, but it's also a time of year that is really important that we take a breath, that we pause that we remember to pour into ourselves and really connect with ourselves and the relationships that we have in our life, including the relationship we have with animals in our life. And today, I'm super excited to um, share some news and celebrate with you. We have been doing a three-part series. So those of you who've been following along, this is part three. <laughs> Talking with authors from the beautiful anthology, The Animal Legacies. And in our past two shows, we've been talking about coming soon, about to launch. And what we're excited to share today is the book launched on Tuesday, December 3rd, as promised. And within 24 hours, became a number one international best-selling book in three countries. It hit 18 best-selling categories in U.S., France, and Australia, and it hit number one categories in all of those countries in multiple categories. So we're just honored and excited and to and celebrate this with you and today we're talking with four of the authors that were called to be part of this book and we're going to get to hear a little bit behind the scenes what the journey has been like for them why they leaned and said yes as well as wisdom and insight they can give us about relationships with animals it's so important, especially this time of year with all of the, the busyness that we remember to stay connected to our animal friends, too, and to listen, tune in and listen to the messages they're sharing with us. And sometimes that message, I know with, I have cats, and the message they keep giving me and reminding me is to pause and take a breath, be still, it's okay, look at the sun look outside. They're reminding me to slow down a little bit and be very present. And I think that's such an important reminder this time of year. So today, as we dig in deep and talk with our amazing authors, I want you to be thinking about relationships in your life and particularly those with animals. And even some of our authors have shared, you don't even have to have pets to hear and connect with animals and receive messages. They come in all different forms and ways that messages can be connected to us and support us on our journey. So I'm an animal lover and advocate, and I'm so honored to bring this book to the world. I I was the compiler and the compiler, and it's so honored to have, it's such an honor to have it received so powerfully so many places in the world. And so we're just humbled, excited, honored. I want to thank all of you for leaning in and helping make this possible so that we can bring this powerful book forward. And today, as we lean into the conversation, I want to help us all be present. Take a breath together. Really give yourself the gift of this time together to be poured into, to listen, to receive everything that is here for you such an honor to be able to connect in this space where we can stop, pause, and listen to our heart, listen to the messages and the wisdom that's here and ready and waiting to pour into us. So those of you who are driving, please stay safe. Keep both hands on the wheel, eyes open. You're inwardly tuning in. You're choosing to be present, opening your heart, mind, soul, and spirit to receive everything that is here for you. Those of you who are able to, please put both feet on the floor. Feel it supporting you. Take a deep breath in through your nose. All the way to your toes. And out, out through your mouth. Like through a straw. Beautiful. Keep breathing. Close your eyes. 
Put one hand on your heart, one hand on your head, bringing you all in. Mind, body, soul, and spirit. This type of breathing helps bring oxygen to every cell of your body. It lowers your stress levels, your cortisol levels. Helps you become very present so you can hear (laughs) and receive everything that is here for you. And I know there's something here for you by the very nature that you tuned in. And I want you to be able to receive everything that is here to support, encourage, uplift, and empower you. Beautiful. So in this space, as you're breathing, eyes closed, you're absolutely safe. What is it that you need today? What is it that will encourage you, empower you, uplift you? What is it that you need real time to support you on your journey that you are able and willing to receive because you have choice? See if that shifts the information a little bit. What is it that you need and are willing to receive unattached to how? In fact, looking forward to being wonderfully surprised at the amazing and unexpected way that need will be met abundantly. So what is it that you need and are willing to receive? Beautiful. Let's receive that information and take a breath. Open our eyes, come back into the room. Fully present. And take a moment and write that down. What it is that you need and are willing to receive. Let's start to bring that into reality, to identify it, to get it out of swirling around us and actually in front of us so we can be open and on the lookout, ready to receive the wonderful way this need will be met. Beautiful. And I'm going to go around our virtual room here, connecting in with each of our amazing authors that are joining us today. And as I do that, I'm going to feel in with what they're sharing and see if that adds to what was laid on your heart. And so with that, Raina, I would love to start with you in just about 10, 15 seconds. What was laid on your heart when we took a Mm. moment to stop, pause, and listen? Oh, well, my heart expanded. Mm. Love that I have to share just radiates out to everyone listening and to the whole planet. To that readiness place to receive what it oh. is for the highest and best good. Oh, so beautiful. I love how your heart expanded. I could feel that energy <sighs> and that sharing it out. It's beautiful with everybody um, being open and expanded and ready to receive. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing. Yay. Mm-hmm. Lorraine, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Uh, I, with my hands, I moved my hands at different positions on my head, by my womb space, um, by my stomach, and the word nurturing Mm. coming up, Uh, feeling nurtured, Mm -hmm. and um, just feeling nurtured with love. Oh, so beautiful. Nurtured with love. I love that. I'm I'm mimicking what you described. (laughs) So that's beautiful (laughs) as we echo that out into the world. Thank you for sharing. Beautiful. Thank you. (laughs) Absolutely. Suzanne, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Well, I had the word relax come in, that I need to let go of worries and let love lead in order to receive. Mm, That's so tweetable. Say that again. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) (laughs) Let love lead to receive. Ah, I love that. that, It kind of rhymes, yeah. (laughs) <laughs> to receive, yeah. <laughs> to receive. Oh, I love that. And I love how so many of you have love and nurturing and kind of this expansion. Um, so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Thank you, yeah. Suzanne. I love that. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we can all be reminded to relax, especially this time of year. So beautiful, beautiful reminders. <laughs> and Jamie, how about you? What was laid on your heart? Hi, Rebecca. Um, 
two things that come to me. Um, one is Mother Earth and just really feeling a deep connection to everything on this earth, the, the animals, the plants, the trees, the crystals, just everything like that. Just getting outside in nature, I think, would would uh, really do the trick for me. Um, and also what I call going yinward, um, just a word I made up. It is a combination of the yin yoga, which is all about stillness and peace, and then also going inward, which is what I'm really craving right now. Um, mm. I think it's so important to take time to retreat and reset, especially now in, in the midst of all the chaos going on in our world. Yes. Beautiful reminders and, and what a, a lovely mixture. Um, and, and I could feel the support and kind of the roots coming in as you were sharing. And I actually feel like mm-hmm. my plant over here celebrated what you shared and got excited. <laughs> <laughs> that it got to be yeah. included. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. It's it's, <laughs> it's um, communicating all of a sudden. So how fun is that, that it's you now leaning in and celebrating and resonating with what you're sharing. So thank you. I appreciate it. Yeah. And listeners, how about you? As you listen to each of our authors today share, did that add another um, insight or additional information to what was laid on your heart as we connect in heart, body, soul, and spirit together? We are getting ready to go to our first commercial break. And as we do that, and these beautiful commercials are playing in the background with updates and information and insights we want you to be aware of and things that are going on, I invite you to stay present Really use those two minutes as a time for you to relax, breathe, and receive everything that's being spoken into your heart and spirit. Let's stay connected and present. And we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Be sure to friend us on Facebook. You can do it right now. Visit Facebook.com forward slash Voice America or search for us at keyword Voice America. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Get Unchained. Tune in every Monday for Jane Unchained on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Featuring nationally recognized, best-selling author, TV journalist, and social media influencer, Jane Velez Mitchell. This program takes you inside a trending lifestyle that's the next wave of human evolution. It all starts on your plate. If you want to revolutionize your life, get happier, more energized, then discover the secret. Tune in to Jane Unchained Mondays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time and 1 p.m. Eastern Time on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Have you had a chance to check out Voice America's online magazine and blog? If you love our hosts and shows, check out articles that give an even deeper perspective. Plus topics about health and fitness, movie reviews, philosophy, business tips and tactics, spirituality, positive thought, current events, and even more about your favorite host. It's just a click away at blog.voiceamerica.com. That's blog.voiceamerica.com. The Voice America Press Blog. All access, all the time. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. 
If you have a question or a comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes, that opportunity to... Stop, pause, and just breathe and be and receive that wisdom, insight, aha moments. These moments throughout the show give you time to process real time so you can integrate what's being spoken into your heart and spirit. So it becomes part of you as you get ready to go back out to the world versus getting on the to-do list that you sometimes hope to maybe get through the whole list. So I encourage you to really use these two-minute moments to stop, pause, breathe, and integrate. Well, as promised, we are talking with our amazing authors. We have four amazing authors joining us today from the now number one international best-selling book, The Animal Legacies. Such a powerful book. So excited to be bringing it forward. And we're talking with authors who leaned in and decided to be part of this project. And i like you to know that when an author leans into being part of something like this, it's a year-long process. So they felt that pull and that call to lean in and be part of it. And month after month took steps to bring the book forward and bring the story forward. And so I think it's really interesting to know why this book called to them. And they leaned into that commitment and brought this amazing book forward and the name of their chapter. So with that, Raina, I'm going to introduce you more formally and then um, have you share a little bit about why this project called to you. So Raina Lombard Mm -hmm. is a licensed marriage and family therapist, psycho-spiritual energy and sound healer, and master hypnotherapist and passionate about helping you expand your intuition and playful connection. Please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful Raina Lombard to the show. Welcome! (laughs) Thank you so much, Rebecca. I just absolutely adore you and what you're uh, presenting and sharing with with the world. I decided to be a part of this book because dolphins are near and dear to my heart and soul. Since 1997, I've been communing with them and presenting their information to the public and bringing through their sound and their healing energies in the form of their playful barks, their sonar. They're just incredible beings, and I'm so grateful that I've opened my consciousness to receive these wonderful blessings from the dolphins and also from the whales, uh, which is a whole nother realm that I love. So thank you for asking. Um, the chapter name is Dolphins, Adventures in Transformation and Healing. Mm, thank so you. Beautiful. Thank you. I celebrate you being part of this project. I love and adore you too. And I love what you brought into um, this book, especially around dolphins and expanding our awareness of how we can connect Uh in and learn and um, grow in a relationship with them. So really appreciate that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing. Oh, my total pleasure. And then we have our powerful Lorraine Giordano. And Lorraine is actually one of our fellow hosts. So I'm excited to have one of our fellow Voice America hosts on the show today with us. She is the founder of Inspired to Health and Sage of Clear Spaces, an intuitive healer, Reiki master, and is passionate about women more fully connecting to down there. It is my pleasure to lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and heart-centered Lorraine Girondo, Giordano to the show. Welcome! <laughs> Got all excited. Hello. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> you are welcome. It's I so hope you feel that energy. Here. I'm thrilled to I have do, you. I do, I <laughs> do. Beautiful. Fabulous. 
Well, I'd love for you to share why this project called to you, why you leaned in, and what is the name of your chapter? Yes, so I chose to participate in this amazing um, book because at a high level, I think that, and for those that don't know me, down there kind of represents uh, female reproductive health, but Mm -hmm. in the the bigger sense of uh, connecting to our divine nature, um, our ability to create. And, um, and so there's an awareness of taking care of Mother Earth and nature, and I think animals are so intelligent. And so based on my own personal experience with my little dog, Louie, and previous dogs, um, I just think that they offer such valuable lessons. So I wanted to share that. And in my chapter, I have two chapters, but my chapter on Louie is my little... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's my little uh, nine-pound bundle of joy. He's a multi-poo. But um, he... The chapter is called The Legacy of, of Storm Clearing to Unconditional Love. And I was inspired to get Louie during, or, or a dog, uh, during Hurricane Sandy. So the chapter goes into that. And the other chapter is um, Neighborhood Lessons, Geraldine and Chance. And that chapter is about Louie's brother. Mm-hmm. Ah, beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing and leaning in and um, being part of this powerful project. Uh, Listeners, we're going to be checking in and getting to actually get a sneak peek of some of these chapters and some of the insights learned. So as you're hearing from each of our amazing authors and kind of feeling in, know that we're going to go a little bit deeper in um, further sections in the show. So we want to stay tuned. Um, Thank you so much, Lorraine, for sharing. I appreciate it and bringing multiple chapters to this powerful book. (laughs) My pleasure. Our our next amazing author is Jamie Harnjell. And I... um, Jamie, I just adore you. I've been thinking about you so much <laughs> lately, so I'm excited to have you on the show today. Uh, yeah, you just you you um, have been on my heart. So Jamie is a certified Reiki master, shamanic practitioner, and crystal intuitive. She is a number one international best-selling author multiple times, and is absolutely passionate about you taking a holistic approach to really be able to shine powerfully in who you are and bring that to the world. So let's lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and inspiring Jamie Harnagel to the show. Welcome! Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca, for all that and just having me here today. Um, I'm really grateful to be part of this project. I'm thrilled to have you here and excited with all that you wove into your chapter and brought forward. And I'd love for you to share why this particular project called to you and the name of your chapter. Um, So I've done two other books with you. And when this topic came up, it really just captured my heart because my animal friends have really impacted my life and my spiritual growth in ways I couldn't even imagine. So I thought this would be a beautiful way to to pay tribute to them. Um, And also I feel that this is a great platform and a a way for us to reach a larger circle of animal owners and perhaps give them a new perspective on how they see their pets. Mm -hmm. Um, The title of my chapter is Paw Prints on My Soul. Mm. Love that. <laughs> Has such a beautiful feel and energy to it. Paw prints on my soul. Wonderful. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I appreciate you sharing that and being being part of this book and part of this project. And I think you're absolutely right. I feel like all of these chapters, especially combined, will stretch and expand our view of animals. Mm -hmm. There are chapters that are from the animal's perspective. (laughs) There are chapters from the um, human's 
perspective. And there's um, heartwarming stories and journeys of transformation that have taken place in these chapters. So anyone who um, loves animals or feel, feels a pull, I know will be encouraged and inspired by this book. And it will be expanded. And I know it'll help us all lean in, go a little deeper and connect more powerfully. So I really love that you brought that up. Thank you, Jamie. Yeah, I, I actually hope that, you know, people understand that these animals aren't just sharing our space, but given a chance, they can become so much more. They can be our emotional support or our comfort or our protectors or even our spiritual advisors. Mm-hmm. Just, yes. They just need the chance, you know. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then we have our powerful Suzanne. So Suzanne is an animal communicator, pet relationship specialist, and spiritual life coach. She's the founder of Soul Safari, which I love that title, that name as well. And she's passionate (laughs) about helping women who love animals and their pets to rebalance body, mind, emotions, hands, and paws together because <laughs> so I love that it's collaborative <laughs> in, the, in such a powerful way <laughs> so please lean in and warmly welcome the powerful and connected Suzanne Tebow to the show welcome yay thank you so much Rebecca what a wonderful w- intro I'm so grateful to you oh you are so welcome so- Excited to have you joining us, and I'd love for you to share why this project called to you and give us the name of your chapter so we can look forward to looking it up in the book. Sure. When I first heard about the Animal Legacies book, I swear my heart skipped a beat. I was so excited Mm. because (laughs) as an animal communicator, I can talk to animals, and I felt this was really a way to honor all of the animals that support me in my life, especially my childhood dog, Wiggles. My chapter title is Love Makes All Things Possible because Mm -hmm. Wiggles saved my life as a young child. She's the one who taught me that love makes all things possible because her love was bigger than my fear. And I really wanted to honor her story and how she supported me as a child. Mm. Thank you for sharing that, and it's so powerful, and she had such amazing love for you. (laughs) Yes, yes. Supported you, yeah, yeah. So thank you. Thank you so much for sharing and leaning in, honoring that skip of the heartbeat (laughs) to lean in and um, be be part of this powerful project. Yeah, yeah, really beautiful. Yeah, thank you. Thank Mm -hmm. you. And listeners, I wanted to let you know, any of you who didn't have an opportunity to get the the book, we launched it in Kindle. It is available on Amazon, so you still have the opportunity. It's at its regular rate right now, but you do have that opportunity to lean in and get a copy on Amazon. You can just look it up, The Animal Legacies, or you can look it up by uh, my name. Either way, you'll be able to find it. And what I'd love to have you do is take a look at on our Facebook posting that we did under my name, Rebecca Hall Greider, because during the campaign, as we were sharing out in Facebook, many of the authors started sharing pictures of their animals. So some of the uh, beautiful animals we're talking about, you could actually see some of their pictures online, and that it inspired other people to share pictures of their animals. So we started to create this beautiful collection of animals and connections and hearts around the world. And we'd love for you to participate and, and jump in and add a picture of your animal too we'd love to share that out and those connections and and keep that going and building the print book we've been getting that question will be coming out within a week and a half two weeks at the most and that will be available on amazon as well so for those of you who prefer the print book i want you to know it is coming it's just um, right now they're fine-tuning the cover and then we will be able to launch and share that with the world as well so as we get ready to go to our next commercial break i want to invite you to use these two minutes to stop pause breathe and kind of feel in to what is a message that an animal in your life is sharing with you 
Is there a message that um, they have been looking to bring to your attention? Perhaps you've seen uh, the same animal multiple times that you're not used to seeing an owl that keeps popping up (laughs) or a cat that keeps walking by and it's drawn your attention is there a, me- a deer is there some a message that you feel like is coming to you a reminder let's take a moment during this next commercial break to really feel in and see and listen to what that message may be and we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes Think you've seen everything there is to see in online television? Let us surprise you. Visit voiceamerica.tv today for sports, health, business, and more on demand 24-7. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Sustainable success is just around the corner. If you are an entrepreneur, business leader, or anybody looking for their next level of success, tune into Sustainable Success with host Chris Salem. Did you know that the path to success is a long path that started many years ago? The path you started on then determines what is happening now. Chris and his amazing guests in their field will help you navigate the path to sustainable success every Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Time and 9 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. Tune in to the Voice America Variety Channel on the Voice America Talk Radio Network. Voice America Variety broadcasts a diverse array of topics, reaching a global community. Our experts come from all walks of life, and the topics they discuss are everything from current events, arts and entertainment, leadership, parenting, relationships, self-improvement, career advice, and a variety of other topics. Check us out today. You're sure to find something of interest. Voice America Variety. Talk on today's hot topics. Change starts here. Change starts now. Join us. The Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and the opportunity to stop, pause, and and feel in and see. Is there a message or a reoccurring animal that has caught your attention lately? And you've gone, huh, I wonder what that's about. I I hope that you had a chance to kind of check in and see if there was a message or a reminder there for you. (laughs) I hope that you found there was and an opportunity to appreciate that message and add that in. This is also a great time to kind of check in and look at the intention that you set in the beginning of the show, what it was that you needed and are willing to receive. And that's great to kind of check in partway through the show and start to see if there's some additional information or insight that is coming along to support you in that need. So as we continue our conversations with the powerful authors of The Animal Legacies, I'm excited to have each of them share their chapter title again. We want to make sure you're able to find their chapter. And then something that you can look forward to experiencing in their chapter, as well as I've asked them to share a little bit of what the 
perhaps the journey has been like behind the scenes, saying yes to something like this, leaning in, watching it, launching it and sharing it out in the world, watching it become an international best-selling book. Was there something in that that really stood out on the journey for them and have invited them to share? So with that, um, Jamie, I'd like to start with you. If you could share the title of your chapter again and then something we can look forward to in it. Yes, yeah, so the title of my chapter is Paw Prints on My Soul, mm-hmm. and I've shared some personal stories about each of my animals and how they've impacted me, so I hope that our readers can relate and maybe begin to think about their relationship with their own animals and go a little deeper. Um, one thing I noticed even more just through this process, and this has always been the case, but just came to my attention was that my cat, Raja, he's constantly showing me that I need to manage my stress better. And the minute I'm anxious or out of sorts, he's yelling or trying to get my attention and to get me to ground myself. Um, And when I'm working late or I'm tired, he's yelling at me to go to bed. And I also noticed, you know, he goes around the house screaming and always reminds me to clear by saging myself or whatever I might bring into the home. Um, And even this morning, it struck me because as I was sitting down to call in, he was trying to get me grounded. (laughs) So Mm. anyway, I pretty much get yelled at all day long because apparently I'm (laughs) never doing what I'm supposed to be doing. (laughs) Um, But but I'm sure it's from a place of love. (laughs) Oh, absolutely. But my gosh, in that moment, you're like, just, you know, will you please be quiet? (laughs) I'm trying to focus and it's like more irritating. But I I know, you know, you look beyond that. It's, 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 he's really just trying to support me and take care of me in his own way. (laughs) I love that. (laughs) Beautiful. (laughs) Thank you for sharing. (laughs) Yeah. How about you, Lorraine? I'd love for you to share your chapter titles again, because there's two. And then things that we can look forward to in it, or perhaps part of the the journey. Yeah, so I do have two chapters. The the Mm -hmm. first chapter um, is The Legacy of a Storm Clearing to Unconditional Love. And... And it's about my little dog, Louie. And basically, I find Louie to be such a character. And he is a morning meditation for me where I just start the day hugging and just sharing some love with him. So it's a beautiful Mm -hmm. way that I kick off my day. But what I love about Louie is that he's taught me that when I take him for walks to just greet people and all the time. So he wants to meet everyone. He wants to say hello, whether it's an animal or a person. And in the book, I do mention that he's taught me to invite myself in um, oh, rather beautiful. than waiting to be invited. And so, and in that way, I've met so many amazing people that I probably might not have ever met in my neighborhood um, and travels with him. And even by him kind of wanting to meet people, I became very good friends with a lady, uh, Geraldine, who is in my second chapter, Neighborhood Lessons, Geraldine and Chance. And Louie had a very strong liking with her, and she fell in love with Louie, and she wound up um, she wound up getting a multi-poo as well, uh, and it's Louie's brother. And I think that by opening up and inviting ourselves in, Like, there are so many unexpected, miraculous ripples that come out of that. And I think just by having Louie and getting to know Geraldine's dog, it's, you know, it's been such a, an opening, loving kind of experience. So I'm thrilled to share those stories. And behind the scenes, yesterday was my Mm -hmm. birthday. And it was just an amazing day. That's right, happy birthday. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. It was such an amazing day to have my birthday and um, and celebrate this book with all these amazing authors, all these special people. And and Louie, you know, by opening up to, you know, nine pounds of pure unconditional love has had such an amazing effect on me and hopefully shares inspiration for others with their animals. Beautiful. 
Thank you for sharing. Mm. And very happy birthday. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we celebrate that too. It's beautiful. <laughs> and let's see. I'm just feeling into who's next. And Raina, I, I feel the pull towards you. So yeah. Raina, <laughs> I'd love for you to yeah. share your chapter title again and something we can look forward to experiencing in it. Okay. It's called Dolphins, Adventures in Transformation and Healing. Mm-hmm. And there's some really exciting information in my chapter. Um, now, obviously, my dolphin at this point in my life isn't living in my home or I'm not living right on the water, but I can call the dolphins in any time that feels right, and I just know they're always with me, and you know, I'm always downloading information from them that's for my highest good. Um, and one time when I was swimming in the water with them, they, uh, they just were swimming right next to me, and I got to, like, parallel swim to look in their eyes just briefly because they're very quick a lot of times, and, and you might miss them. Uh, but that was really exciting, having dolphin bubbles popping on my third eye <laughs> and my heart, mm. giving me mm. a special encoded loving message, which was, mm. uh, you are my beloved. And mm. this way, it deepened my connection with them. Uh, and also, uh, one time I was given a message when I was in the boat in Hawaii that, yes, go in the water, but you may not connect with the dolphins as much as usual. And so I went in, uh, and I turned around, and there was this half rainbow on the outside of our boat, and I didn't quite know what that meant. And so uh, I started swimming a little bit around the other side, and then I I saw another, I saw the other half of the rainbow. And so later Mm -hmm. in the channeling with my friend Trish from Dolphin Spirit, she said that St. Germain had told me that it wasn't time to connect the rainbow for my life path in Hawaii. So it wasn't Mm -hmm. time to move there, but it was still really powerful and I got it. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the experiences that I've had in in Hawaii and also just with dolphins in my bedroom or wherever I am. <laughs> Beautiful. So that's pretty exciting. Oh, yeah. thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you for sharing yeah. um, the beautiful messages, a couple of the beautiful messages you've received, and that reminder that we can connect in Right now, we're actually all connecting in with each other, even though we're in different parts of the world, uh, we're in different parts uh-huh. of the country. We, You may even be listening uh-huh. to the replay, the podcast version of the show, but we're still energetically connecting in. And it's the same way with, with our animals, that we can connect in even if we're not right in the same room together and commune and receive messages and share um, and and connect in really, really powerful ways. I think that's a really big reminder because sometimes we um, feel like we have to be in the same room to connect and there's so many powerful ways we can connect. And in person, I love and is really powerful, but we can also connect over um, great distances in time and space as well. So, Really, really beautiful. Thank Rebecca, you for sharing. Mm-hmm. Thank you. And one really quick message that came through this morning when I found out sure. that we're a number one best-selling author internationally was yay. <laughs> when I said, <laughs> yay when I sent out this message on my Facebook page, the dolphins came in and, and said, "The dolphins approve of this message." <laughs> Aww. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's like beautiful. Like they're running for the highest office in the world, you know. <laughs> I great. love it. I love it. We've got that stamp of approval. <laughs> great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> mm-hmm. And then, Suzanne, I'd love for you to share the title of your chapter, some of what we can look forward to, and if there's a special experience along the way that's on your heart to share. Sure. The title of my chapter is Love Makes All Things Possible. I share the story of my difficult childhood and how my little white curly-haired dog named Wiggles saved my life during a traumatic event. It is a story of my dog's unconditional love that rescued me from that trauma, and it was also the first time I ever heard an animal speak to me. Mm. And it was 
through this experience that I discovered that animals are our guiding lights that shine brightly when we feel lost. Their love is so deep and profound that it teaches us that love makes all things possible because they help us to see life in a different and new way. As I was writing the chapter behind the scenes, I ultimately realized that pets help us reach our truest potential by helping us to see who we really are inside. Mm. Mm. What and they and I feel like they do it in a loving way. <laughs> Even though I was thinking yes, with they do. Yes, they do. <laughs> so, because sometimes we love the things we discover about us and sometimes we don't. And um That's how true. Are, you know, so how wonderful it is to have um, a loving presence presence and um, be there with us and hold that and love all of us as we're learning to love mm-hmm. all of us. So yeah. really yeah, really powerful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Mm-hmm. Listeners, we are getting ready to go to that next commercial break so you know that that's two minutes just for you. An opportunity to stop, pause, breathe, and listen to what's being spoken into your heart and into your spirit. And when we come back, I'm going to let you know how you can go deeper with any of our amazing authors that are joining us today, as well as if they have any tip or piece of advice. So we'll look forward to talking to you in just two minutes. Follow us on Twitter at VoiceAmericaTRN. Get the lowdown on guests, new shows, and your favorites. That's VoiceAmericaTRN. Announcing a powerful new TV channel featuring programs designed to enhance and transform your life. Make powerful connections one program at a time. And by doing so, we can bring transformation to the world. Tune in each week to Empowered Connections TV as we add new programs to help you make empowered connections of your own. Visit EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. That's EmpoweredConnectionsTV.com. And make the most of an incredible life transformation. There's a new force to be reckoned with in talk radio. It's not just talk radio. Hosted by LaTanya Jr. and co-host Tina Wynn and Tony Brown. Not Just Talk Radio is like a superhero. Inspiring, problem-solving, and informing. Packed with action-provoking conversations from news, movements, and social and politics issues. This program is about a wide range of voices and fresh points of view from experts, celebrities, and you, the listener. Not Just Talk Talk Radio is broadcast live Wednesdays at 11 a.m. Eastern Time, 8 a.m. Pacific on the Voice America Influencers Channel. Rebecca Hall Greider's Speaker Talent Search is looking for speakers wanting to get on more stages. With just one audition, you could open the doors to hundreds of speaking opportunities, reach more people, and expand your impact. Finalists get to audition live in front of leaders looking to fill all kinds of speaking opportunities. Apply now at SpeakerTalentSearch.com. That's SpeakerTalentSearch.com. We look forward to hearing your message. Become a member of VoiceAmerica.com. It's easy and best of all, it's free. Start out by going to our homepage or any of our channels and click register at the top. Once you've created an account and signed in, you can create your own custom library, opt into our newsletter, search by show, host, guest, or topic of interest, or browse millions of hours of content across all of our Voice America radio channels. Membership gets you more. Visit VoiceAmerica.com today to get started and tailor the listening experience to your taste. We don't follow, we lead. Join us, the Voice America Influencers Channel. You're listening to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider. If you have a question or comment for Rebecca or her guest, we'd love to hear from you. Please call into the program at 1-866-472-5795. That's 1-866-472-5795. You may also send an email to Rebecca at yourpurposedrivenpractice.com. Now back to Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you enjoyed those two minutes and that opportunity to stop, pause, breathe, 
and listen to what was being spoken into your heart and spirit. We are talking with the amazing authors of The Animal Legacies, now a number one international bestseller that is available on Amazon. The print book will be released very soon, within the next week and a half. Um, We'll have the print version up, and we've actually created a companion journal as well that will be up about a week after. So lots of tools and resources to support you in your relationship with animals to take it to another level and reflect on the relationship you're building and the messages that you're receiving as you connect in and enjoy the heartwarming stories, but also expand um, your heart and your connection with them. As a welcome back, and I asked all of our authors behind the scenes if they would share their contact information. So if you feel a pull towards one of our authors, here's we're going to share how you can go deeper with them. And then I've also asked them to share a piece of advice, a tip that you can take back out into the world with you. So with that, um, Raina, I'd like to start with you. How can they connect with you and go deeper? Oh, Reina, are you there? Oh, Reina? Okay, we're going to go to Lorraine. We'll come back to Reina. So, Lorraine, how can we connect and go deeper with you? Yes, uh, my website is inspiredtohealth.net. So, that's inspired with a D, T O H E L. No, H-E-A-L-T-H dot net. And as far as a tip, you can also find me on Facebook as well at um, Inspired to Health and on Instagram at Sage of Clear Spaces. Okay, so as far as my tip, Rebecca, you inspired me with this tip, though, because you said it earlier in the show. So the tip is pause, P-A-W-S, to pause. Because this is a hectic time of year, Whenever you see pause, um, animal pause, remember to rest, play, uh, don't get too caught up in the hubbub of the season, and um, enjoy. Beautiful. Thank you. So that's a great reminder as we go through the holiday season. I love it. Thank you. And then Suzanne, absolutely. Suzanne, how can they connect with you? And then a really quick tip. Up, oh, Suzanne. Oh, we will come back to Suzanne. And then Jamie. <laughs> Jamie, how can they connect with you? Um, and what's a really quick tip? Uh, Jamie? So strange. Well, listeners, we're, we're going to have it be a little bit of a cliffhanger. <laughs> so for those that you're wanting to connect in deeper and uh, learn a little bit more about them or follow them in social media, make sure to check out our host page about the show because you'll find their bio, their contact information so that you can go deeper. You'll also find it in the um, end of each chapter in the Animal Legacy. So not only does every chapter have these beautiful tips and reminders and insights, it also gives you the bio and information about that particular author so you're able to go deeper and um, build a relationship with them. And I want to encourage you to do that. As authors are sharing their stories and their messages out there, they love to connect and go deeper and build a rapport and a relationship with you. So don't be shy. I encourage you to lean into that opportunity to go deeper and connect powerfully. I want to thank all of you for leaning in and being part of our show today. It's just been such an honor and a privilege. Animals are such an important part of my life. I'm so grateful for all the different animal lessons and and connections. I actually contributed four chapters um, in in the book that just really um, touched my heart and it's an honor and a privilege to share them with you so I hope that you enjoy the book I hope you enjoyed the time today that you had an opportunity to go a little bit deeper or expand your thoughts or perspectives around animals and messages in your life as you get ready to go back out into the world I want to encourage you to take a moment to stop pause (laughs) in both ways as Lorraine shared and receive whatever additional 
personal message and thought is and center yourself before you go back out into the world so you can do so on purpose and with great purpose. Have an amazing week and remember wherever you go, whatever you do, may you always choose to bloom where you are planted and shine. Have an amazing week, everyone. Talk to you soon. Thank you for joining us this week for Empowering Women, Transforming Lives. Please tune in again for another edition with your host, Rebecca Hall Greider, next Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Influencers Channel. And join us for a replay of the show every Wednesday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time, 2 p.m. Pacific, on the Voice America Empowerment Channel. Have a beautiful week, and may you always bloom where you're planted and shine.